I'm your host with the most, Logan23, doing Prince Benefits, Chapter 7. Without waiting for your reply, Scott grabs your hand and leads you back towards his castle. You don't protest, though. It's time to let loose. Oh, those are beautiful horses. Before long, you're in the view of an enormous stable of horses. Oh my gosh, you have a stable? Of course. Do you like horses? In theory, yes. I've never been on one, but they're so beautiful, and growing up, I definitely wanted a pony. Well then, I would like to introduce you to Night and Snow. Scott leads you into the stable and stops in front of a couple of stalls. And one is Midnight Black Horse, and the other is a Snow White Mare. Night here is my stallion, and Snow, well, she belonged to my mother. The place we're going to is pretty far. Want to ride it? But this is your mom's horse. I... I can't. It's okay. No, I mean, I really can. I've never ridden a horse. I have no idea how. I'm gonna need help. And finally, there is something I can teach you. What should what I do? If night she can take two, why not we riding together? Is that English? If night she can take two, why not we riding together? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Okay, go show me the way. Scott grabs the tack and saddles Snow. He leads her forward to a block and ties her to a post. Alright, you can get on her now. I don't know what to do with her. Well, the first step is to get on. Climb on the block, put your right foot in the stirrup, and swing your left over her back. Got it? It takes three attempts, but... You're finally on the horse's back. It's intimidating, but thankfully the horse is very calm. Don't be scared. I'll be riding night right beside you. What should I be doing? Kick her gently on her sides with the heels of your feet. Kick her? But I'll hurt her. <laughs> Trust me, you won't. Just give her a little nudge. You nudge a little too hard, and Snow shoots forward at a canter. Oh god, Snow is going too fast. You're the worst teacher ever! <laughs> Just enjoy it, Emily, and hold on. You're doing great. Just hang on. It's not that far. It's not that far. We could have walked. Oh crap, I think my butt is going to relocate to my neck. How do I get her to slow down? Don't dirt the reins, but slowly pull them back and tell her to slow down. The key is to be calm. How long have you been riding? All my life. It's our family tradition. Snow slows down, and you find yourself enjoying the easy pace. Fifteen minutes later, you reach a clearing, and Scott calls a halt. We're here. Scott helps you dismount, and after a few moments of adjusting, you finally look around and all you see is a wall covered in leafy vines. Where are we? This is my secret garden. The door is hidden around here somewhere. Scott feels behind the ivy and finds a door with experience. He pushes the door open and sweeps an arm wide, gesturing for you to enter. Wow, it's beautiful. I haven't been here for a long time. It's been hard coming here ever since she died. It was a safe place for her to escape and not worry about us getting into trouble. We used to play hide and seek here quite often. I like how that's in bold. I'm so sorry. I saw in the news that you lost your mom in a horrible car accident. That is totally bullshit. She died for a reason. Died for her family. What do you mean? Do you want to find out the darkest secret of the royal family? Hmm. Mm, 
we shouldn't pry. I understand, Scott. It is very personal. Especially when you're in a position like yours. Thank you so much for not asking me questions, Emily. I do appreciate it. I wanted to bring you here because this is a very special place for me. Next time you feel sad and just need a place to hide, you're welcome to come here. Scott, I... I don't know what to say. You don't need to say anything. The two of you ease into a comfortable silence until your phone rings. Mom? Emily, honey, where are you? I'm, uh... With a friend? You have friends here already? Yes, he's really nice. He? Really? Who is it? I don't know if I can tell you, but please don't worry. You know that's going to make me worry, right? Yes, I do. But I can't really talk right now. I'm safe, I promise. Alright, we can talk later. Oh, sweetie, I almost forgot to tell you. I'm having Katie and Anya over for homemade dinner to welcome you and also celebrate Kate's birthday. Would you like to take Kate shopping tomorrow for her birthday? It might be nice to get to know some people around her. Sure. That sounds like fun. Come back soon. Uh, sure thing. You hurriedly in the call with your mom. It sounds like you have a complicated relationship with your mom. We're working on it. Wait, why didn't you tell her you're with me? I can't tell her that. We just met yesterday and you were the prince. Uh, so? So, I'm not sure you are serious. Scott cuts you off by placing his hand on top of yours. Emily, I need to ask you something. Huh? Would you like to be my friend? Friend? Girlfriend? Is he asking me to be his girlfriend or girl friend? Wait, no, he's asking to be my friend. You don't know if you're relieved or disappointed. Yes, of course. What's wrong with me? How can I even think about being his girlfriend? Great, so now you can tell me... Tell anyone that you're with me. Wait. Okay, wait. Friend? Anyone? Are you serious? Emily, listen, as I grew up, I realized that it becomes less important to have a ton of friends and more important to have real ones. No shit. So, am I a real friend to you? Yes. Then, you know what? Can I introduce you to another dear friend of mine tomorrow? What do you mean? Who? My mom. What? Would you like to come visit? Will Prince Scott really come over? And if he does, will any drama occur? Mm. Good questions. <laughs> Super short, but good question. Will drama occur? Because remember, she's going to meet, or he's going to meet, not just her mom, but he's also going to meet uh, the birthday girl, Kate, right? Or Katie, or Kate. I'm just going to go with Kate. Katie, that's right. Katie is I-E. Kate is K-A-T. Okay. Anyway. It's been a long night, and I've gone through some really deep shit, and so I dammed it all back up, had to put the mask back on, and here I'm back at it again, so. That being said, I'm not quite clear focused. I'm gonna need some coffee. It's been a long night. Haven't slept in a couple days, but I digress. That being said, I hope you all did enjoy the content. Please feel free to hit that share button and subscribe. Also, you can head down in the description below you if you want to follow me on social media, communicate with me, whatever. Um, you can do that. There's quite a few links down there. And then if you want to, it would be very appreciated if you would support my content. If you're not able to, that's fine as well. Just hit that share button. And until next time, stay well, stay awesome, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.